One of the really useful things that you can do with Google Drive is that you can create a form so that you can get information from a whole lot of separate people and put it together into a resource that absolutely everybody can use. So you can share it to a smaller group or as big a group as you like and this is really good for collaboration where all of our effort goes into the same bucket if you will. So the first thing I'm going to do is I hit the create button. Of course I'm already logged in with my Google ID and I'm already on the Google on the um, the drive side and I'm going to create a form. So here's my form. So let's say I'm going to um, in collect information about say Runner, which is a novel that we've studied at year 10. So um, I just put in a bit of text which will, this is a quick quiz. So the first question is who killed nostrils. Um, I could put in some help desk, uh, some help text um, about that if I wanted to to remind people and I can actually choose that it can be just text which is that little box, it can be paragraph text which is bigger, uh, multiple choice and in fact let's go with multiple choice. So my first option is Squeezy Taylor. Um, my second option is of course Charlie Fian. And the third option is uh, the little fat kid from Hey Dad. And then I say, I'm going to make that a required question, although I don't have to, and I say done. My second question, and I do this just so I know um, what's, you know, where stuff is coming from, is what is your first name? Make that mandatory as well. And that is my quiz. So I could publish it just like this. I could in fact go up to, see down the bottom there? I could grab that URL, give it to people. In fact, I'll click on it right now. So I open it in a new tab, and what we're about to see open is, hmm, there you go. That's really annoying. I click on that, and I wait for it to happen. There you go. There's my little quiz. So let's fill it in. So who killed... Who killed nostrils? Let's say Squizzy Taylor did, and my first name is Mark. I hit submit. So that's what um, other people do. Then I go back to it itself, and there you go, there is my runner document. And I look and I see that Mark put in the answer Squizzy Taylor. And you can do that with five or ten questions. So you can use that to collect quotes or answers. You can do quick quizzes. You can do really detailed stuff. And of course, you can put it up on the whiteboard or on your screen. But you can share it with other people. And this is what I often do. So you go up to the share button and you change it. So anyone with a link can view it. And then you give people the link so that you're not only creating a shared resource, you've actually got it so that it can immediately be shared. So you can have students putting information into the bucket or anybody putting information into the bucket and drawing water from the bucket at the same time. So that's a really powerful tool. I'd encourage people to have a crack at that. It's really good.